this tutorial, I will be discussing the drives available to the staff in the Elkhorn Area School District. To find out the drives you have access to, click on your Windows Start button and go to Computer. A screen will appear that shows you which drives you have access to. All computers will have your local C drive. This is not a place to save your files. If you'll, you switch classrooms or you accidentally delete a file, you won't have a backup of them on your C drive. You will have an H drive, which is considered your home drive. That is your own personal drive where you will save all of your documents. This drive is backed up on a weekly basis, and if you delete a file, we will be able to restore it. The next drive is the P drive. This is a public drive. This is a drive that you have access to read, but you do not has, have access to write to. Administration will put important files out here that you can access. The next drive we look at will be your S drive. The S drive is considered a common student drive. Teachers can put files out in this drive, and students are mapped to this drive so they can access files as a template in this drive. The next drive we have is a T drive. The T drive is a drive that students do not have access to. It is mapped to staff members and it is also mapped to the substitute login. So files can be put out there to be shared among staff members or if you want to share them with your uh, substitute teachers, they can access this drive and be able to access those files. The final drive we're going to discuss is the W drive. The W drive is a student drive. It has all of the folders in the building mapped to this drive. You can access every student. You click on a student's folders and you'll be able to get their documents and access their documents from this drive. That, con that concludes the discussion on drives.